probably give me good advice. He told me four things, and I always remember them until today. He told me, never be human leaked. Let's never let your wife get boss of you. Never let your neighbor get too near your backbone. That is, have plenty to eat and drink. And he also told me, never to back any horses, which I'll never do. And the last thing he told me was, never to fight after I was 50. I think that was good advice, don't you? My father, you know, he was a rough diamond, but he was a typical black countryman. And I, I thought about those words ever since. And it anger works. And I found out this. Since I've got old, that it isn't the skilled men as have got the money. It's the unskilled men as have got the money. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Gentleman Jim. While Joe made chains, Gentleman Jim watched. Joe Mallon's list of champion dogs and fighting dogs makes formidable reading. His Staffordshire Bull Terriers and their offspring won honours at Crufts and in international show rings. But Joe Mallon's also seen his dogs fight desperate battles for high stakes in the cellar under the pub. I want to tell you this. I have definitely seen a lot of it. But I've never seen no cruelty in all my life. I've heard them talk about they tear dogs to pieces. Now, I've never seen it. I've seen Henry Cooper in the ring served out more than I've seen it suffered. If a man uh, seen his dog being knocked about too much, he throw the sponge in. Uh, this dog, he belongs to George Edge from uh, Great Leith, the vine, Great Leith. And he's a smashing Staffordshire Terrier, in my eye. He's, he's got a wonderful pair of ears. He's got a black nose, he's got a dark eye. But he's just a little bit too heavy for show, according to the rules. But he has won a few prizes, first and seconds and that. There's one good thing about him here. He's got a wonderful mouth. He's not undershot. If you get a Staffordshire Terrier, which is undershot, it's points against him very much. Now, this dog has got one of the best mouths that you'd see on a Stafford. Eh? And uh, his ears, 100%, neck, as hard as a bullet. And he's a very, he's, he's, well, you can tell by the look of him, he's as strong as a, a cart horse. And I should say, if this dog had got a fight in a battle, He's six pound overweight, six pound. You, you could get six pound out of this dog. Uh, George, would you hold this dog a bit? Well, I tell my friend. If, uh, this is how they fight these dogs. Now, supposing that's your dog, and that's mine. Yeah. There's a referee in the pit. There's two players. The player, uh, one in one corner, one in the other. They toss for corners. And... Uh, the referee 
Uh, and there's a man on the other side with a bottle of water and a sponge. Like his second. And one in the other court, uh, just outside the pit, with a bottle of water and a sponge. And the referee he calls to him, loose your dogs. So they loose the dogs and they start fighting. They'll fight for the quarter of an hour or 20 minutes or something like that, and they'll come off through exhaustion. I remember the cradling his dog of fighting a rowley dog. And I was a spectator at the time. Uh, and uh, um, they come off, he come off in about 10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes is a long while, you know. He comes off and uh, the fellow takes him to his corner. The referee says, time, loose your dog. He loosed him and he jumped out of the pit and ran off a uh, lost the money. See? Either dog refusing or stopping, he wasn't hurt. See? And uh, I seen one that's sorry. It was for 25 pounds a side. And uh, that lasted just over half an hour. And uh, the same thing happened. The sorry dog had got to come across, and he, he refused to come. He dropped down. When the referee called time, he dropped down. He was <laughs> lost the money. See, he refused to come across. Now, you follow me in there, don't you? Mm -hmm. Do you know, uh, 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 one hour after, he mated a bitch. <laughs>